Like, I'm, I'm fine with people using spaces. I'm just going to claim that they're wrong <laughs> and they, they propagate the incorrect way of doing indentation. Yeah, tabs versus spaces. That could be, like, an actual discussion. I go with spaces. Okay, I go with tabs. What do you mean all editors insert spaces? This one doesn't insert spaces. Here's my argument. My argument for tabs, it's a bit idealistic, um, which I recognize and understand. Um, so so the, the thing about tabs is that tabs is for indentation. I 100% advocate for tabs. I don't think you should ever, ever, ever use spaces for indentation. Um, the problem is that uh, for indentation, we do want to have a certain distance that we move things out, right? We want to move, you know, this one, this distance, and the distance can vary. I'm, I'm fine with that. You know, is it, you know, is it the four space width or the eight space width? I don't care. But the point is, we do have a symbol for indentation, and that should be one single sin like symbol, right? Why would you ever, ever want to be able to a half indent indentation, right? Because indentation should communicate to you what it what scope means, right? Um, so so why would you ever have a system where indentation symbols can be split up? That doesn't make any sense to me. That's just weird. So so then sure the the problem with tabs is that they have like varying lengths and sometimes they align with things if you do I don't know if you do stuff like this, right? So so that I can agree. Like if you do want to use spaces in cases like this for alignment, that's totally fine. Like I don't I don't really care. But for indentation. The problem is that we should have had an indentation symbol of a fixed width, but we don't really have that. We cannot hijack tabs now, um, but I, I would still say that we should be using tabs for indentation for that that reason. Um, anyway, that's my that's my tab argument, I guess. Um, and then whether or not you know they should be eight or four, or some people argue that well, sometimes tabs are of different lengths and different editors, and I really don't care about that. Like, why does that matter? I agree, it's cool to have a special symbol, but having two different symbols makes you think too much about invisible things instead of actual coding. How does it make you think about too many invisible things? It's not like a mental overload, just because maybe sometimes I want to align things like this. It's more, more like, oh, I wanted to rename this one, and then it hopped over there, and then I go, oh, okay. Then I do that. It's not like a problem, right? It was that my tabs use spaces, and it uses two spaces. Yeah, sure, I mean, you could, like, for personally what you want to do, that's totally fine. Um, it's just that... Um, the the whole idea that you can make a half indentation or quarter indentation is just like fucked up in my mind. That's not okay. Like indentation should be a designator of scope. So if there is some weird way you can just do half indentations, like what does that mean, right? It, it shouldn't even allow you to do that because that doesn't mean anything in code. Um, and then sure, maybe you can have like an argument of like, well, I want to format my code like this and then it shouldn't enforce tabs. But I feel like, yeah, that's sort of a separate thing. You could have like Python where Python enforces tabs and use that as a scope marker, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, each to their own, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I just, there, there's no reason to use spaces here apart from like purists who go like, well, I need my, I need my, all of my things to be consistent and I need GitHub to display my code exactly as it looks in the Unity inspector for scripts. It's like, why does that matter? Like what matters is when you sit and you code your things where you spend like 99% of your time, right? Like I'm, I'm fine with people using spaces. I'm just going to claim that they're wrong <laughs> and they, they propagate the incorrect way of doing indentation. Um, I'm not going to force you to do anything. You can use your you can use your freedom of speech to code however incorrectly you want, <laughs> but I'm still going to advocate for tabs um, because tabs is the best substitute we have for an indentation symbol, right? I think we ideally we should have had a different symbol because tab does have like the additional thing of aligning things like this, which is kind of a weird quirk. I would say that this is the weird part of tabs, but for indentation, spaces make no sense at all. Indentation is optional anyway. <laughs> sure, if you want to have like unreadable code, you can have your optional non non indented code. It's just so weird to me that we even like it's that it, that it's even a discussion, like we have an indentation symbol sort of, and then some people go, "Nah, I want to use this symbol, which is four symbols." Why? If you use uh, space for indentation, you should use use one space. Just go for one, and then for the next level, you do two, right? Because then, then space is your indentation symbol. Then sure, go for that. But don't use like an arbitrary amount of fucking spaces for your indentation. Because like if you have this, you're like, uh, wait, where does this one align with? Um, and then 
Okay, this should be our indentation symbol, the sparkle emoji. This is obviously the superior indentation symbol. There we go. As long as the editor auto formats your code, it should make no difference what symbol you're using. And then spaces of advantages where tabs don't. It does affect your workflow. That's my, that's the biggest issue for me, right? The thing is, I don't ever, ever want to see a line like this. Because this is just like, it has no purpose to have something that's like halfway through an indentation, right? So so if I did convert everything to spaces, this could happen like by, by accident, right? Where, I don't know, if there's like another line and I want to move this one up and I forgot to, uh, maybe I by, by mistake deleted too many spaces or whatever. And then I get this sort of weird, inconsistent misalignment of everything. So even if the editor auto-converts your tabs to spaces, this is still a problem in terms of workflow. Like, why would you ever want to have it like this? Like, just, just align things to your indentation and then you're done. So if you don't want to align it like that, you want auto-formatting. But then that's kind of like... Um, it's kind of like you have a, like a really thin pillow on your bed and you're like, eh, I don't really like this pillow. It's very flat. So you go buy eight more of the same thin pillow and then you're like, no, this is the superior pillow. And then you're like, but why didn't you just buy the thick pillow? And you're like, no, but I like having it like this. It's, it's the same thing, right? It's the same height. And I'm like, no, <laughs> you have to manage those eight pillows. You, it's not just one unit. Like, why did you buy eight pillows? That's just insane. <laughs> this will make her tired keep going. I'm sorry, I just have opinions. And yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I should sleep. My editor stitches my pillows, so I don't see a difference when I lie on them. But, but then your editor has to stitch all of those pillows. <laughs> Isn't that kind of a weird way of setting things up? Like, why is it important to you to have an indentation symbol that's divided into four parts? Plot twist, you see sleeping on four pillows. <laughs> it depends on through what lens you're viewing the bed. If you're viewing it through GitHub, then, then th that's like four pillows. Because tabs make it important again? Why does it make it important? Make me think on them when there's no point? But that's because you're used to spaces. I, I could make the same argument in the other direction, right? Because it turned out to be important. Some maniacs were code editors that make tabs eight spaces or something insane. Um, yeah, but then just then that's a problem of their IDEs. Just have a setting for how wide the tabs should be. It could just be a slider for like pixel width for each tab or something, right? I'm coming from using tabs and switch to spaces, so I don't have to bother anymore. Sure, but isn't that also like a problem of conformity <laughs> and like arguing with people who, who like hate tabs or whatever. But if everybody just accepted tabs, then this would be fine. I'm making a normative claim here, <laughs> not a descriptive one. If everyone accepts spaces, it's fine. I don't, I wouldn't say it's fine. It's just consistent. So if everybody accepted spaces versus everybody accepting tabs, tabs would be better. That's my argument. Let's vote on it. This is not something you vote on. It's going to be the rule of majority, and a majority of people use tabs or um, spaces, so it's just going to be shitty. I'm not going to get my way. It's just like we're kind of just stuck with this now, because we do have this chaos of people using both tabs and spaces. We should have just used tabs from the beginning. Or no, what we should have done is made a symbol that has the same width as a tab, which is, I don't know, let's just decide on four. Um, and then we would use that symbol for indentation. And then tabs would be used for alignments, like this. Um, and then we, we would have like a specific symbol for indentation, because indentation has meaning, right? And I think it's just really weird to be able to split those up. Um, yeah, it's chaos. Everything is burning. Sweden is burning, Kashi. Haven't you see, ha heard the news lately? Is there like a... Um, um, is there like a wide Unicode symbol? <laughs> wide as long as Unicode characters. Whoa, these characters are... Funky. What is this? Oh shit, we got it. <laughs> We've got our indentation symbol. It's perfect. There we go. Bam.